the Chancellor had taken the bold step of asking a specialist review team of judges and QCs to look at what would be practical. And they have recommended a an anti general anti-abuse rule. Now that's quite a narrowly and specifically targeted provision at the most aggressive and abusive schemes. And it has a lot of, I suppose, wider acceptance in the tax community, much more so than a general anti-avoidance rule, um, which is a much more broadly targeted discretionary power that would be given to HMRC basically to stop anything it didn't like. The problems with a broad general anti-avoidance rule is that there can be a great lack of certainty for businesses and individuals as to the tax consequences of their transactions.